everybody, and welcome back to the World of Fandom Fights. I'm your host, the King, Caleb Coho, and we are back into the regular season. I'm in the hosting chair again. I love it. It feels like riding a bike, and uh, it's a tandem bike because my co-host, my best buddy, Tim Bacala, here with me. How you doing, Tim? That's very nice of you to say. I'm doing fantastic. Um, I am so excited to be here hosting fandom once again this is my second hosting duty already because i had to host a match that you were a part of uh so that was a thing but now i'm here hosting again with you where i get to sit back and you get to do all the heavy lifting and i get to sometimes come in and say questions it's really exciting and you get to be funny you get to be the one that people like i have to be the asshole uh or, or we could trade that off i don't we we, we share this one that's what I was about to say. I feel like we definitely share the uh, asshole spotlight. You're right. For sure. You're right. But what we've got today is uh, two true true rookies, two true newbies uh, to the world of fandom. Uh, for one of these people, it is their first fan league match ever. Uh, so we get to welcome Jack Pinchuk and Ruin here. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Uh, thoughts? Yeah. I don't know about either of these people. Um, they're on the schedule. They're here to play. Um, we have no idea what their strengths are. Um, I don't, at least. I don't know anything about them um, beyond what we're about to see. So could this be um, a new spider that we find tonight? Could this be the next uh, horseman of the apocalypse? Who knows? We'll find out. Let's play the game. Could this be the next sniper that puts them in their scope? Who knows? That's uh, going to be a yikes for me, God. <laughs> uh, but all I know is I recognize one person here that is managing one of these new people. So we'll go ahead and throw to these people and see what they have to say right now in promos. All right, so um, Jack comes in here with a coach on his very first match. You don't know me, fam. You have no idea what my strengths are, just like Tim said. So how are you? No, no I'm, I'm just playing. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure Cam's going to come in. He's entrained you. You didn't put up your knowledge um, a lot better than I have because I don't have a coach. Truthfully, I'm just ready to get this started. I, I don't want to go out here and get skunked in round one. I mean, I got my confidence up, but just that, that worry about that goose egg in round one, I'm ready to answer questions. I'm ready to get uh, that first answer to build my confidence. Um, let's get this match going. This is my first like full-blown single match that isn't like a classic, so uh, I'm ready to go. All right. Well, I mean... I'm, I'm excited. This is my first ever fandom match, and I'm very excited to be here. I don't know what else to say. I mean, yeah, no, uh, we, we got Jack here. Uh, for those who don't know, which is pretty much everybody, uh, Jack is not only a good friend of mine, Jack is actually uh, very, very technically my cousin. Uh, and when I started doing fandom, I started talking with him about it, and he went, this sounds perfect for me. Jack loves doing movie trivia, but when I brought up fandom, he went, this is it. This is the thing. And Amaro's all worried about me being a coach and Jack having a coach. The thing is, Jack doesn't need me to coach him and bring him the knowledge. Jack has the knowledge all on his own. I'm here to help him play the game. And I'm here to bring to the people someone who is going to be great, someone who I know is going to be able to do great things and go far in this game. Uh, all I got to say is look out for what Jack can do and let's make it happen. And we are back from promos. And guess what, Tim? They Look were fire. For some fire promos. I don't think they were that fire, Caleb. I you're think right. you're over. I think you're overestimating how fire those promos you're were. Right. You're right. They, they were pretty lukewarm. But hey, they're new. They're new. They're getting in here, sure. uh, and they, they're they're just getting their feet wet. So yeah. can't really can't call them fire when they haven't even gotten their feet. Wet. Remember the final promo of last season? Robert Fi Robert Parker literally brought fire into that is one of true. his promos during that Game is of true. Action, so. And that is why he was incinerated from being a hobbit into a spider. But we'll go ahead. Yeah. We'll bring uh, we'll bring in our competitors and get this match underway. Uh, but round one is going to work like this. You're going to get ten questions with one point apiece from ten different areas within the Rumble Phantom Fight. Should you get all ten questions correct, you will be issued a bonus question. You are doing whiteboard, so you are uh, each going to be getting the same questions right down. Show us your answers. You have three repeats of the entirety of the match and a challenge rule. Any questions, gentlemen, as we get into round number one? Nope. No questions. Cam just got me scared of this man now. But let's see how this goes. All right. Then we'll get right into it with your first question, which comes in the category of Rocky. Who directed Rocky Four? 
ba da da ba da 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 You're stupid. Greatest score of all time, right? <laughs> Am I better than Bill Conti yet? Five, four, three, two, one. Heads down, we'll start with Jack. I honestly had no clue, so I just put a wild guess out there for uh, Sylvester Stallone, but I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. So That is correct. Uh, and tomorrow. Oh. Hey, great minds guess alike. Sylvester Stallone. Correct. Both yeah. on the board, Tim. All right, guys. Uh, guesses apparently, but correct answers all around. Next question is going to be in Wizarding World. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, what is the first name to come out of the Goblet of Fire? I think this is our new bit. We just hum the score to every the movie that comes up. Just the, all, as Robert would say, the themes. The Five. themes, Caleb. The <laughs> themes of these categories. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> down. We'll start with Amaru on this one. Pens Sorry, down. Pens down, Robert. Vic, Victor Crumb. That is correct. And Jack. Victor Crumb. That is correct. All right. Two to two. This is good to question three in the category of Middle Earth. In the two towers, what two hobbits travel to Isengard with Treebeard and the other Ents? I don't. I can I hum the theme. I don't know if I can hum the theme to this one. Well, you're talking, um, so now I have to, I have to think about. It, so uh, I, I just want. Um, I need to clarify here. Do you want their last names as well? Like how? Uh, I mean, just, just, just looking for the first names on this one. Yeah. Now, now I've lost it. You've got me. <laughs> Robert's gonna kill us. Five, four. I'm three, gonna mix. I'm gonna mess two. it up. I'm One. so sorry. Pence down. We'll start with Jack. Mary and Pippin. That is correct. And Amaru. Marriottic and Pettigrin or Mary and Pippin. Correct. All right. Perfect through three as we get to the fourth question, Tim. All right. Your fourth question is going to be in the category of quotes. In Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, what character says the following? Let's just haul out our swords and start banging away at each other. That will solve everything. There's not a uh, theme for quotes, but if there no, was the one, for this I one. bet it would sound like this. I actually really respect this theme, and I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. Five, four, three, two, and one. And down, we will start with Omaru on this one. I, I could not remember anybody else's name, so I just said Jack Sparrow. That's incorrect. And Jack. I also said Jack Stare because I have no uh, idea. No perfect grounds. Like for Elizabeth Swan. Elizabeth oh, Swan. I thought I would have remembered her name. Mm. All right. Your next question comes to the category of fandom Oscars. What was the last fandom film to win best animated feature? Is there like an Oscars theme that plays every year? Or is it just like whatever songs are nominated? I think there is, but like my fa but they have a different theme every year. My favorite one is the one from 2014, the moving pictures. Or um, I could just sing it. Into the Unknown, which is nominated. Do it. You won't. Into the Unknown. Into I, the want the, I want the one where you freaking scream like a Dino and Sal. Five. Not right Four. now. Fair enough. Three. Two. One. That's all I I'm going to get a repeat. Okay. Oh. All right. Repeat. Uh, what is the last fandom film to win the Oscar for Best Animated Feature? But yes, we reserve those uh, Adina Menzel level vocals for behind the scenes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Five. Did you, oh. Oh, sorry. Four. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Pen down, and we will start with Jack. I said Spider Man into the Spider Verse. That is correct. And Amaru. Into the Spider Verse. That is correct. All right. Both tied at four. Let's get to the sixth question of the round, Tim. Yes, guys, your question is going to be in the category of DC. In Batman Begins, who saves Bruce from his burning mansion? Did you know that I once saved Maggie from a burning mansion? I would think Maggie would have been the one to save you from a burning mansion. That's also true. And the theme for Batman Begins is probably something like dun 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 dun
Three, two, one. Pens down. We start with Amaru. Sir Alfred Pennyworth. That is correct. And Jack. I said Alfred. That's correct. All right. Tied at five. Is we get to the seventh question in the category of scores and soundtracks. Who composed the score for The Lion King? I don't think people can like hum the score. I mean, Cody could hum the score for this. I think people can hum the songs. In the village, the quiet village. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Jack. Hans Zimmer. That is correct. And tomorrow. Did I really just, I said Hans Zimmer and then I switched it to Phil Collins and I'm pissed off now. Uh, all right. So Jack breaks the tie and he takes the one point lead as we get to the eighth question. Yes. And it's going to be in the category of Disney animation. In what Disney animated film will you find a crab conductor and a sunken pirate ship? Maggie is passing me a meme of some sort. Let's uh, let's see what's going on. Mess with the labo, you get the stabo, and it's a lab with a knife in its mouth. <laughs> Maggie, the meme master, is the Thank goat you, of trivia master. and memes. The goat of trivia and memes. Yes. Three, two, one. Pens down with Star of the Maru. Little Mermaid. That is correct. And Jack. Little Mermaid. That is correct. All right. Seven to six. As we get to your pent ultimate question of the round in the category of YA dystopia, who plays Triss's mother, Natalie, in Divergent? Uh, spoiler alert. It was actually me. Um, <laughs> I, I played the mother in Divergent. Uh, I I would believe it. Did you Did you get? I mean, I'm sure you got Oscar nominated for that. Uh, more nominations than Greta Gerwig this year for best director. I believe, right? Yeah. I mean, that's just you're just looking to incite people. What are you doing? I like controversy. For yeah. three. I know we, li we live in a society. Two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Jack. I can't remember. Is it Kate Winslet? It's incorrect. And Amaru. Ashley Judd. That is correct. And Amaru ties the game as we go to the last question of round one. Dim. All right, guys. Your last question in round. Number one is going to be in the category of DreamWorks. In Shrek 2, what is the name of the kingdom that Shrek and Fiona travel to? <laughs> Which is the better Shrek song, All Star or Funky Town? The answer is Shrek 1 on VHS. You are correct. Good, good evading of the trick question. Five, mm -hmm. four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Amaru. Far, far away. That's correct. And Jack. Hey! Far, far away. All right. So we are tied at eight. Coming out of round number one, but anything can happen as we get into round number two, which works like this. This is the wheel round. We are going to bring up the lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com. If you like the category you land on, you are going to get five questions worth two points apiece. You can opt to multiple choice, but it devalues the point down to being worth one. You can spin again if you don't like what you land on, but you're stuck with whatever you land on the second time. You cannot spin off of opponent's choice. Any questions as we get into round number two? Um, yeah, can I get that Hans Zimmer question back? Uh, unfortunately, no. Your category is on oh. the wheel tonight. Are Middle Earth, Wizarding World, MCU, YA Dystopia, Pixar, Marvel, Worlds of DC, DreamWorks, and Spinners and Opponents Choice? Uh, I'll go first, I guess. All right, going first, and we bring in manager Cameron Holtzman. I was going to say, yeah. All right, no. so your I'm spin at the wheel snack, it seems. is away. Where, is, where did Jack oh, go? Jack disappeared. He hit Spinners <laughs> Choice, but we have to wait for him to go back. All right. You got Spinners Choice. Oh. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. Sorry, All right. we got we got spinner's choice. So I... your your options on the wheel again that you could take are Middle Earth, Wizarding World, MCU, YA, Pixar, Marvel, Worlds of DC, and DreamWorks. I'm gonna take Middle Earth. Hold, hold on, Jack. Jack, before before you make this, can I let me talk this through with you? I mean, yeah. I did. Does he have to take it because he said it or? That's up to Caleb, I guess. 
I I would say yes. He said it without. If he said it, then yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just go Middle Earth. He did. Say Unfortunately, Middle Earth. like yeah. sorry, yeah. like he said it. Like yeah, no, it's, it's, it's one of the yeah. things yeah. that yeah. I would have directed totally you towards. Fine. So totally fine. My fault. Sorry about that, Cam. All right, so Cam, we're gonna put you back. Uh-huh. And Tim, do you want to give him his questions in Middle Earth? Yeah. All right, so Jackie, I don't need the one Middle one. Earth. Is your whiteboard working? Or no, you don't need a, no, you don't need the whiteboard for this one. Uh, don't need a whiteboard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, Jack. Your first question in Middle Earth. In the Return of the King, who voices the Witch King? Just a reminder, uh, Jack. Keep your hands on screen where we can see them during this. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm able to get multiple choice this round, right? Yep. I'll get multiple choice on that one. All right, your multiple choice options are A, Lawrence McAray, B, Thomas Robbins, C, Martin Caucus, (laughs) and D, Craig Parker. Caucus. I want B. I'm sorry, that was B as in boy? Yeah. That is incorrect. So Amaru, chance for a one point steal. Can I get the options again, please? Yes. Yes, I'll try my hardest. A. Lawrence McAuer. B. Thomas Robbins. C. Martin. Whatever Caleb said. Kasakis. Kasakis. D. Craig Parker. I'm gonna go A. That is also incorrect. We were looking for D. Craig Parker. Okay. Your next question, Jack. Yes. An unexpected journey takes place how many years prior to the Fellowship of the Ring? 60. That is correct for two points. Okay. Your next question. What is the first Middle Earth film that we see the character of Deagle? Oh, Return of the King. That is incorrect. Chance for a two-point steal, Amaru. Uh, two Towers. That is also incorrect. We were looking for The Lord of the Rings, which is the animated film. Oh, okay. Fortunately, right. that does mm, exist right. in this world. Very true. All right, your next question. In the Two Towers, what is the name of the capital city of Rohan? Edoras. That is correct for two points. And your final question in Middle Earth. In the Battle of the Five Armies, who actually takes Gandalf out of Dol Gadur after the fight with the Necromancer? So who's the one who physically takes him away? Radagast, the brown. That is correct for two points. All right. Working his way through it. Gets himself up to 14 as we bring back the wheel for Amaru's spin. Can I get the score again? Is it Uh, 14-8? Yes, 14-8. All right. So your spin at the wheel is away. And it lands on the category of uh, Pixar. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Um... Let's spin it again. All right. You're stuck with whatever you land on this time, and you land on the category of Worlds of DC. Worlds of DC. All right. So I will proctor to you your questions to Worlds of DC. Your first question. What was the name of the book that the little girl gave Mara while in Sicily in Aquaman? Multiple choice. Your options are A, Moby Dick, B, Pinocchio, C, the Ugly Duckling, or D, Matilda? Just a reminder to keep hands on screen, both competitors, even when you're not the one answering questions. Can I get those options one more time? Uh, absolutely. The options are A, Moby Dick, B, Pinocchio, C, the Ugly Duckling, or D, Matilda? Let's go Moby Dick. As incorrect, Jack, the chance for the one-point steal. Your options again are A, Moby Dick, B, Pinocchio, C, the Ugly Duckling, or D, Matilda. The Ugly Duckling. As also incorrect, looking for Pinocchio. 
Uh, all right, Amari, your psychic question, Worlds of DC. What is the name of the prison that the Suicide Squad are held in in Suicide Squad? Multiple choice. Your options are A, Arkham Asylum, B, Blackgate Penitentiary, C, Area 51, or D, Bell Rev Prison. Blackgate. That is incorrect. Jack, the chance of yeah. one steal. Your options again are A, Arkham Asylum, B, Blackgate Penitentiary, C, Area 51, or D, Bell Rev Prison. I don't think, I don't think, I'm going to go with D. That is correct for the one point steal. Uh, All right, Amari, your third DC. question. All right, your third question, World to DC. Who does Bruce Wayne visit as Batman at the end of Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice? Multiple choice. Your options are A, Lex Luthor. B, Wonder Woman, C, Commissioner Gordon, or D, Amanda Waller? Lex Luthor. That's correct for one point. Your fourth question in Worlds of DC. Billy Crudup appears as what character in Justice League? Oh, wow. Gonna need an answer in five, four, three, two, repeat. All right, that's Amara's first repeat. Billy Crudup appears as what character in Justice League? So I'm apparently a thought provoker too. Multiple choice. Your options are A. Thomas Wayne, B. Jeremiah Jordan. C, Henry Allen, or D, Jonathan Kent? Henry Allen. That's correct for one point. And your final question, Worlds of DC, where does Steppenwolf steal the first Mother Rocks from in Justice League? Multiple, multiple toys. Your options are A, Themyscira, B, Gotham City, C, Metropolis, or D, Apocalypse? Themyscira. As correct for one point. So at the end oh. of round two, Jack holds the lead 15 to Amaru 6, checking the steal. But anything can happen as we get into round three, which is the oh, betting round. Can you give me the score again? You said at six. All right, cool. 15 11. Sorry. Right, so at the end of round number two, Jack holds the lead with 15, getting no one point steal over Amaru, who has 11. But anything can happen as we get into round number three, which is the betting round. It works like this We are going to give you the category. You are going to tell us how many points you'd like to bet between zero and two points. If you get the question right, you will gain those points. If you get the question wrong, you will lose those points. We go until someone is mathematically eliminated or the score reaches zero. We ask that you please write your bet on your board and show it to us. This is whiteboard, so you will need your boards again because you are getting the same questions. Any questions as we get into round number three? Nope. All right. Then your first category that you can bet points on in round number three is the category of Marvel. All right, Jack, how do you feel about, like, general non-MCU Marvel? I feel, uh, I feel, I feel uh, pretty good. I think I'm going to go with one point on this. Though. I think one point is the way to go on this as well, yeah. All right. So get that's three, two. One starting with Jack. One point over there in the corner. All right, and tomorrow. One. All right, both getting one point bet. All right, your question in the category of Marvel. In X-Men First Class, Eric Lencher hunts down Nazis in what country? First Class is, uh, as the kids say, dope. It is dope. It, uh, it is I remember when I remember when the macaw saw this for the first time and she went, are, are the X-Men movies good? And I said, no, <laughs> this one is. <laughs> this one's good. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down and we will start with Jack. Argentina. That is correct. And tomorrow. Argentina. All right. 16 to 12. Let's get to the next question. What's their category, Tim? 
Oh, Caleb, their category is going to be MCU. Jack, I think I think it's close, and you know it really well. I think go two. Two. I'm going two. All right, so we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Bet starting with Amaru. Two. All right, and Jack. Two. Both swinging big, Tim. What's their question? All right, guys, your question in MCU. Why did Natasha go to Peggy Carter's funeral in Captain America Civil War? Both right and now I answers here. I did not get this question correct. No, you did not, but you know who did? The macaw. The goat. Oh, yeah, and the macaw. <laughs> Remember Same the other person. day when I used the term goat milk? And we all kind of cringed a little bit. A little bit, yeah. That was a little cringy. <laughs> and my Four. wife wanted to divorce Three, me. Two. Repeat. All right, Amaru using his second repeat. All right, Amaru. And Jack, your question in MCU. Why did Natasha go to Peggy Carter's funeral in Captain America Civil War? Remember when this movie came out and people were like, I don't know how the MCU could get bigger. Yeah, everyone was like, this is it. This is the best. And then, like, that two years from now, we got Infinity War. They'll never top it. Nothing will top it. Two years later, the Avengers Infinity War came out. Well, and a, it, a year after that, we get freaking portals. <laughs> You're right. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. All right, we'll start with Amaro on this one. All right, I want to see how y'all go with this, because... I kind of think they're both right, but uh, give Steve support, but also talk to him about the chords. Yeah, we can accept both of those. Two yeah, points. All right, and Jack. Tell Steve that she was going to sign the accords and to uh, be careful. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, can I take that as well. All right. Both hitting it. It is 18 to 14. As it gets to your third question, which is the category of Disney animation. I think I feel like you're really confident on this, but we've got a bit of a lead. I'd say if you do, yeah. th is this our second or is, our th is this our third or fourth question? This is the third question of the third question. Oh, yeah. I'd say I'd say bet one point, Jack. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. Anyways, yes. thank you. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go ahead and get that in five, four, three, two. I see you, Tim. One. Uh, we'll start with I Jack. Love it when that happens. One point. Uh, and Amaru. One, wherever that is. All right. So both going one, your question, Disney animation. What Disney animated film features the songs The Gospel Truth and Zero to Hero? My favorite thing ever is when a manager tells their client to do something and the client is like, yeah, yep. that's what I was going to do. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. At every single person in House Night Fury <laughs> <from> last season. <laughs> and then Nico goes, hold on, just breathe. Just breathe. Five. Fucking yikes. I wasn't going to go that far. Two, but... I will. One. Pens down. We will start with Jack. Hercules. That is correct. And Amaru. Hercules. All right. 19 to 15. As we get to the penultimate question of the match, Tim, what is their category? Oh, guys, your category is going to be DC. These are films outside of the DCEU, but still containing DC characters. Jack, I say you go zero. Okay. Let's go zero. Yeah. Okay. And all right. So we'll five, four, three, two, one. Bet started with Amaru. I got no other choice. I need to go one. All right, and Jack? Zero. All right, give them their question, Tim. All right, guys, your question in DC. In Joker, where does Arthur go to get medical information on his mother? Uh, this movie is uh, dope. Uh, not according to the Macaw. The Macaw is just backlashed on this song, it seems like. She's not a big fan of the film. Hey, she hates She hates the number of nominations it has. Yeah. Five. As well. 11? 
Three, two, one. Pens down, and we'll go to Amaru. Arkham Asylum. And Jack. Arkham State Hospital. And your winner, Jack Pinchuk. The answer was Arkham Asylum, a score of 19 to 16. Uh, Great match, Tim. Yeah, uh, both of these players clearly know their things. Um, You know, if if we had gotten different categories and round two for Amaru, this could be a completely different game. He just didn't seem to have worlds of DC down, but that's okay. He clearly knows his stuff. I'm sure he'll be back uh, ready to vanquish whoever is next. Absolutely. Literally, literally the slice. I'm like, there's no way I got, I have, I have the percentage on my side. You said world of DC. I'm saying, well, there you go. All right. We'll go ahead. And we'll actually, we'll start with Amaru uh, for post-match interviews, man. How do you feel? You played a great game. Um, even the loss. I feel very, I feel very good. I feel great about how I was able to answer the questions. I'm going to be sorely pissed off about Hans Zimmer and I'm going to try not to be too mad about that wheel. Cause I mean, it was like a, it was literally 70% chance I got something I wanted. And aside from, and he, I would have even been okay with the opponent's choice because he doesn't know me yet. So he could have gave me whatever and it could have been good. But no, no, yeah, it literally spun away from something I'm okay with and saying, you know what, let me risk it, get something better. And it, it gave me, it gave me that. So, um, but I'm actually pretty happy. I, I just know next time when we get that, get the wheel and I'll be all right. Absolutely. You, you did really well, even in the loss. Uh, you showed uh, that you have a strong knowledge. You and Jack had the actual exact same accuracy coming out of this match. It just came down to points. Uh, but, yeah, uh, even though you're 0-1, is there anyone that you're maybe looking to uh, play now that you are kind of indebted in this league? Any 0-1s you have your mind set on? Um, I don't know if he's 0-1, but th- just anybody in the league that I always get my mind on would be my potential teammate, um, Antonio Chavez. Like he's the dude I always think at, uh, think about uh, whenever somebody asks, "You want anything?" and th- and that's the dude right there. So um, I'd like to go up against a match against him after playing before playing with him. That'd be lovely. Uh, absolutely, you know, uh, I that's something that we can definitely look at making happen is you versus Antonio. Uh, but you know, it didn't go your way, but c- you still played a great game. Uh, we will definitely see you back real soon, uh, and we'll go ahead. We'll bring in uh, Cameron Holtzman, Jack Pinchuk. <laughs> Uh, our winner today, Jack. Uh, how does it feel to get that first win under your belt, first family match? How do you feel? Feels awesome. It really does. And uh, oh my goodness, thank you so much. No, it was a lot of fun. And I mean, Amara was really great as well. I mean, he definitely knew his stuff. But I was actually very concerned going into this match. I'm like, oh no, oh no, I, I, I'm, I'm going to lose this. And then I know, but. I'm I'm really happy though. Thank you. thank you so much. Uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely. You played great. Is there anyone you're looking to play uh, now that you have that win under your belt? Someone that you are looking to sort of face? I don't know. I I don't know many people in this league yet. Uh, oh, Kevin well, says something. I, to say. I think I know who he's supposed to play next. If I'm supposed gonna... to, huh. is that is that official? Is that official? Uh, if, I think your proposal for that match works. It could be. It could happen if you would like it to. Okay, so apparently, according to co-host schedule, Jack, your next opponent is apparently going to be me. Uh, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a family civil war between us. Uh, I'm cool with that. And, and it's going to be especially awkward because obviously if I'm playing against you, I can't really help manage you yeah, yeah manage really prove that like for the most part you didn't need my help uh and things worked out really well for you uh i think i might have someone who could manage you though ah uh, cool oh me that's right <laughs> that's right you're in the kingsman of course uh <laughs> But yeah, well, that, I think this is a great strong showing for our, our, our rookie Kingsman over here. So great game. Uh, but absolutely, uh, can't wait to see you two play. Uh, it's it's going to be like Cody when he managed Tim and Robert, just both his kids fighting each other. Uh, but we'll, uh, I think it'll be fun, and we'll uh, we'll see you guys, both of you, 
in your next match. Uh, and we'll, yeah. uh, we'll throw it back to the Hulk at the desk. Uh, yeah, overall yeah. final thoughts on this one. Uh, this was a match that happened. Rookies played. Points were gi- uh, given. Questions were answered. Things happened. Good job to everybody all around. Um, I liked the cute little thing there you did at the end. That was really nice. Uh, good job. That was a nice production there. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, great job, everybody. All am around. I am I a face yet, Tim? Uh, uh, bleh. Bleh. <laughs> Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, from Jack, from Cam, uh, from Amaru, from Tim, I have been Caleb. This has been Phantom Fights, and we'll see you guys real soon with another great match uh, that will be tomorrow on Monday because we have a new schedule. So new bat time, same bat channel. We'll see you guys tomorrow.